I'm back. <laughs> hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I am back from training. I was away for two months training at my new airline. I was in initial training to fly the 737, and it was a very, very fun and amazing time, but also very stressful. I thought I would be able to film during training, but obviously that didn't happen. To be honest with you, I just didn't really have the time to do so, and I wanted to prioritize my training and studying it. I want to make sure that I succeeded in that so I apologize for the lack of videos while I was away but I am back now and if you're all wondering yes I am officially typed in the Boeing 737 which is so crazy to me I look at my temporary certificate and I see B-737 on there and I'm just like in disbelief training was such a great experience my class was amazing the instructors were amazing I just overall really enjoyed my time in Dallas and I'm just really excited now so I haven't done IOE yet and if you're not familiar with what IOE is, it stands for Initial Operating Experience and it's essentially my first couple of flights as a newly freshly type rated pilot. I'm going to be flying them with a line check airman who is a different type of special qualified captain um, who is essentially checking me out on these flights to make sure that I'm doing everything properly, that I'm flying safely, adhering to company policy and everything. So my first couple of trips are going to be with a Czech airman and after I'm signed off by the LCA that means I am sort of released into the normal pilot pool. I could fly with any other captain and pick up trips and start flying normally. My first IOE trip is going to be on Wednesday and I fly out tomorrow to Denver because my trip starts out of there really early in the morning. My company was nice enough to get me a positive space seat over to Denver tomorrow as well as a hotel room for the night and then I start my trip on Wednesday and I'm really excited but I haven't started packing yet so I thought I'd just do a little packing video show you guys what I'm gonna bring with me on my first trip and yeah. this video would not be a Sarah Michael vlog if there wasn't any coffee in it so let's make some coffee My favorite creamer at the moment, the brown sugar oat milk creamer from Trader Joe's, 10 out of 10. No! <laughs> All the foam got stuck. I waited too long to pour it into my cup. The trick with the milk frothers is as soon as it's done, you have to pour it into your cup right away. Otherwise this happens and you end up Scooping, you see all of that? You end up scooping it all. But nonetheless, so got a nice cup. Cheers. So I have my suitcase here. This is the Travel Pro Flight Crew 5 22 inch roller board. And I've been using this for the past two ish years. Um, basically, ever since I started working at the airlines, I've had this same suitcase. I really really like it i feel like it fits the perfect amount of stuff and there's lots of zipper pockets there's also one in the back here and i just think it's very sturdy and very durable it's been through many trips with me i also got these new luggage tags they're so cute it says crew are they upside down yes okay and this is like a pedo tube cover thing but on the other side it has the 7-3 which i thought was so cool all right so let's go ahead and open this baby up and i'll show you guys what all of this is i usually keep basic toiletry stuff in the mesh part i don't ever really take it out i just leave it in there so that something is always there for when I travel. It's kind of like an emergency kit in a way. Inside of this plastic bag, I have extra floss, shower cap, an extra toothbrush, um, shampoo, conditioner. I also carry a little travel size bottle of dry shampoo. I also carry makeup removing wipes. I don't normally use these. This is, like I said, a backup. Um, because there have also been times where I forgot my makeup remover or ran out of it or something um, So these are just as a backup. This is really cool. This is like an eye mask My mom got this for me from Japan What's Really cool about this is once you put it on there's some sort of like heat activator I guess it starts to warm up. So it's like the soothing warm 
mask on your eyes and it can help you fall asleep or something or if your eyes are tired after a long day so those are all of my backups that i keep in here i've learned over the years that constantly swapping things in and out of bags makes me more likely to forget something so i just kind of keep necessities I'm not a professional packer or anything and you would think that I'd be an expert at this by now because of how much I travel but I'm not I'm still learning the best ways and the most efficient ways to pack you basically want to pack your heaviest clothing pieces at the bottom if you have really thin pieces and you put those in first the weight of everything else on top of it is gonna cause it to wrinkle bringing a pair of white jeans and then the second heaviest thing I have in my suitcase are these sweatpants these are just like for my pajamas lounging around in the hotel room this is another PJ top these are the shoes that I typically bring with me on my layovers they're New Balances they're extremely comfortable they're great for walking around as well as working out one tip I have regarding packing shoes is to put them in shower caps that way the bottom of your shoes won't get all of your clothes take extra shower caps from like the hotels and stuff and they don't take up extra space shoes will usually go first that way i put something bulky on the bottom my heavy clothing pieces and then from there i'll start adding everything else on top now this part is going to be pretty fun i'm also going to be bringing my extra uniform pieces i have my pilot pants here so i have my extra pilot shirts that i'm going to be bringing undershirts these are tank tops that i wear under my uniform it's honestly pretty surreal finally being back home after being gone for two months i remember when i first came home i could have cried. I was so happy and I missed my apartment so much and there was like a beautiful sunset when I came home and it just felt really good to be back. Living out of a hotel can be difficult at times just because you don't have everything that you would normally have back home. It's not the same feeling sleeping in a hotel bed versus your own bed. Honestly, training was so much fun and I've never said that about any other training I've been through. Like my first airline training was cool but I really had a great time here. Everyone was great, my class was great, instructors, everything. My sim partners were amazing. I also had so much fun flying the full motion simulator. I actually did most of my training in the max simulator, which was so much fun. There's different sims, there's the NGs, so the seven and eight hundreds, and then the maxes. I'm also going to be bringing this super soft, fluffy button up cardigan. This thing is so cozy. I don't own any clothes with this type of material. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like a, a throw blanket it feels so good on how training worked was basically they're kind of broken up into different phases I guess of training the first two weeks were a lot of introductory stuff so we were sitting in classrooms and it was a lot of admin work we got to take our crew badge like our photo registering for benefits learning about the benefits learning how the scheduling works we're just kind of learning more about the company week two and three we start getting into aircraft systems 737 is a lot more hands-on, I would say, than the Embraer, which is what I used to fly at my previous airline. I would say that I definitely got spoiled flying the Embraer. It's just so automated. Um, but the 73 is also a lot of fun. Having flown at a regional airline prior to my current airline now, it was definitely beneficial and it helped me a lot. I was able to absorb a lot of the information a lot quicker because I already had prior experience. Automation modes and everything translated really well. They're similar but different, but having the background of my prior airline and the prior plane I've flown, I feel like that really helped me throughout this training experience and it made it go by a lot smoother. If you're thinking about going to a regional airline, I honestly would recommend it. My advice is that regionals will give you really great experience and a really good foundation to start working off of. And I definitely noticed a huge difference in this training experience versus my first ever airlines training experience. I feel like there were two completely different things and I was able to absorb everything a lot better this time around um, because I had flown at a regional for the past two years. Also, the full motion sims are so freaking cool. I wish everyone would be able to experience them at least once in their life. They're just so realistic and you kind of forget that you're even in a simulator at times. Of course, the things that we're doing in the sims are like emergencies and we're practicing a lot of non-normal maneuvers and it's pretty intense. If you're simulating to do like a crosswind landing, you can feel the gusts of wind like pushing the plane to the side and if there's rain, you can hear the droplets on takeoff when 
when you advance the thrust levers forward, you can kind of feel the aircraft accelerate and it's just a lot of fun. I would say the full motion sims were definitely my favorite part of training. I just wish everyone would be able to experience it at least one time because they're awesome. I'm going to wear my uniform tomorrow on my flight over to Denver even though I'm not necessarily working it just to save space in my suitcase. Also, I'm just really excited so I want to wear my uniform. <laughs> excited to start working. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wear my uniform on my flight tomorrow. Undergarments, socks, and all that good stuff is gonna go here. Being like a bag of some sort. This is usually one of my go-tos. It's the Lululemon belt bag. It's just like really convenient and easy. You just throw it on and it fits like your hotel keys, your phone, money, everything chapstick. So I really like this bag too and it folds up really nicely and it doesn't take up a lot of space. This is the final result. I have successfully managed to put all of my clothes and everything and my shoes into my travel pro. The only thing that's missing is my makeup and my skincare, which I'm gonna put in tomorrow because I need them for when I get ready tomorrow and for tonight. Now I have my flight bag that I'm just gonna start packing up a little bit. Like I said, my company provided this one for me, which is so awesome. So I'm gonna start putting stuff in here and showing you what I'm gonna be bringing in my flight bag. I went ahead and put my headset in there and then also I always keep a pack of them with me. These are the ones I usually get, the Mentos Fresh. I really like these. I have my company iPad. It's really awesome because they um, gave us a pivot case along with it and it has a stand on the back so we're able to pop it up and it's really great for when we're doing like our computer-based training and stuff and watching different modules. Um, it was really handy to have this case in the back. I'm bringing this folder and inside of this folder has like this packet I need to bring with me for my IOE as well as all of my documents. There's also this little detachable Velcro divider and in there I have some extra mints, the green tea mints from Trader Joe's. These are really yummy and some wet wipes. In this pocket here I have my flashlight. We're always required to have a flashlight with us for when we do the walk around at night. I have a bunch of pens, tied to go stick, some more hand sanitizer, and then also this is um, the charger for the iPad, which we can actually connect into the plane, which is really cool through this little block here. On this side, I keep our portable charger. This thing is so stinking heavy. All right, so I went ahead and I grabbed my wallet. Also, before every trip, pull out some dollar bills. A common thing that's done in the airline industry is uh, we always tip the van driver, especially because they're always pulling our heavy luggages out of the van for us. It's just a nice thing to do, so I have some dollar bills in there. I also have my sunnies, which are my favorite. I got them this summer, and these are like the only sunglasses I've been wearing lately. So pack that in there, and the case is really nice and sturdy as well. I also just wanna show you guys my uniform because it's so stinking cute and I can't wait to wear it. Instead of wearing a tie, we have the option to wear a scarf around our necks, which I think is so feminine and it's adorable. These are my new epaulets, which are so awesome. They're like this really cool silver color. If you opt to wear the scarf instead, you can get this option where there's a little bit more of a bigger opening around the neck area, which I really like. I was really happy when I saw that we were able to buy these like open collared shirt sleeve for when it's pretty chilly out Outside, we have these carbon jackets so this is like something extra you have to pay for but I thought this would be really great especially because it's December now and I'm gonna start flying in the winter time and I'm gonna be going to colder destinations it's pretty thick and it does a great job at keeping you warm and there's also this area here where you can velcro your epaulets onto it I'll lay this out I already steamed this shirt so that it's ready to go for tomorrow when I leave for my flight I just got to throw it on and it's good to go but I am so excited to wear this so that is pretty much it for this video like I said I'm flying out tomorrow and I'm starting my first trip on Wednesday which I'm really excited for for the rest of the night I'm just going to review some things on my iPad review flows and systems a little bit and possibly probably some de-icing stuff as well because I'm going into Denver and it is the winter time. I want to be prepared for de-icing procedures because they're a little bit different from our normal operations. I just want to take the time as well to thank you guys so much for being supportive of this channel and being patient.
patient with me I know that I wasn't uploading as much when I was in training and I was going through a pretty busy transition period I'm definitely hoping to make more videos in the future and share this journey with you all It's been a ton of fun and we're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers, which is so crazy to think about I started this channel almost exactly a year ago And I never would have thought that it would have reached this many people in such a short amount of time Thank you so much for being supportive and encouraging for me seeing that has definitely inspired me and motivated me a lot and i'm glad that you guys are getting something out of this channel but as always thank you so much for your support and i will see you guys in the next video